welcome to another video so today we will be discussing about clade and types of clade so what do you mean by clade it is a group of species that include a single common ancestor and are all descendants of that ancestor let us take an example so here we can see the one marked in blue is a clade because these two species have come from this common ancestor so this is the ancestor and these are its descendants so this is a clade also this is a clade because all of these have come from this common ancestor okay now one thing i want you to remember is the ends of all of these are called as taxons so these represent a taxon taxon 1 2 3 and so on okay now let us see what a clade doesn't look like so this is not a clade because it doesn't have a common ancestor it branches from a different ancestor so this is not a clade similarly this thing is not a clade however if you include this portion it would have been a clade now next we can discuss the different types so first one is the monophyletic now what is this so they are descendants of a single common ancestor so look here in this figure you can see that a is branched out to give you b now b is the ancestor for c f and similarly for the others so this whole thing comes from a single common ancestor b and hence this is a monophyletic clade next paraphyletic it does not include all the descendants of a single common ancestor for example right here now a is the ancestor to both b and i and all of these are a descendant of a however we are only using this part so this doesn't include all the descendants and hence it is a paraphyletic clade next polyphyletic they do not share any common ancestor and have multiple origins for example right here this gh taxons are not related to jk they have evolved independently that is they have different origins correct so this is an example of polyphyletic let's make this concept very clear in your head by using an example so look right here you have the blue one yellow and red representing each type of clade so first let us look at the yellow it is example of a monophyletic clade why because these are all descendants of this common ancestor right here okay so new world monkeys old world monkeys apes humans they have come from all one ancestor and we have grouped it all together so this is a monophyletic tree whereas in paraphyly what we said or in a paraphyletic tree that we do not consider all the descendants of a ancestor for example if you consider this ancestor or you consider this ancestor this part is also its descendants however we are just considering this part that is the lem lemurs lorises and tarsiers so this part is a paraphyletic and finally you have this red portion see now none of these taxons are directly having any common ancestor this branches out from this ancestor this branches out from this branch ancestor so they have multiple origins hence it is an example of a polyphyletic clade so if you learned something please like this video subscribe to my channel and that's it from me for today i'll see you in the next video bye